welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be ceramic coating my A26M wheels. And we all know these wheels look really good. All right, they look really good in the car, but with the stock non-carbon ceramic brakes, we know that the brake calibers and the brakes itself produce a lot of brake dust. And we all know how difficult it is to maintain these sets of wheels. Me personally, it's gonna take a long time to clean, but with the ceramic coin that we're gonna be doing in this video, um, it's gonna make the cleaning process and also maintain the wheels a lot easier. So we're also gonna be talking to the team here on seeing what product we're gonna be using, the benefits of the product, and also since it's gonna be on the wheel, you also need a ceramic coating that's high temp. So again, we're gonna dig into their brains a little bit, we're gonna get some footage. What ceramic coating does, it protects the surface and also allows hydrophobic properties, meaning that uh, water will bead or, sh or sheet off of it and also provide that extra layer of protection uh, from the elements like the road elements and also UV protection. Guys, we're going to be here with Ed. Ed is one of the uh, managers and supervisors of the staff. And again, I'm going to dig deep into exactly what this coating is and just a little bit more about it. And one thing that I know during this process is always the prep, meaning that getting the step ready for the product to be applied on correctly. Um, in this case, they're going to use some uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, um, to really make the surface area very bare to a point where it could absorb and um, take the new ceramic coating onto the wheel. Again, they're using this really, I guess you could say high end because not a lot of, not a lot of people know about Modesta. Um, I've heard of it from Gears and Gasoline where they've done some detailing segments. But um, from what I've understand, it's a true glass coating. And in that video where we're gonna ceramic coat the car, um, we're gonna deep dive into that. But today we're gonna talk about the wheels, what protection you need. And if you guys hate cleaning these wheels, you may want to look into a professional uh, grade ceramic coating or a ceramic coating in general just to make the process a lot easier. All right, so what I've learned for myself, there's never one right way to uh, detail a car or wash a car. There's multiple wrong ways you could do it. But in this video, we're going to get Ed's method on um, how he ceramic coats his wheels and customer's wheels. So Ed, take it away. So you're using two products here, right? Correct, yeah. Most of the time we do start off, we do try to clean every, every wheel off with vinegar, for especially any sort of black wheels, because you do have any sort of water spots, any hard brake dust that is caked up on there. Ideally, we like to use vinegar, and then finish off the process with a final wipe of 70% alcohol, just to make sure the wheel is completely clean and uh, any material free, just so then we could apply any ceramic coating on it. All right, so Ed, I know you guys talk highly about Modesta, right? So why do you guys choose Modesta in reference to other companies out there? Because there's a lot of different companies, but Modesta is your, your proven and proven product to use. That's correct, because Modesta is a, it's the only true glass coating that is on the actual market. And we do pr prefer this product for wheels, Modesta's BCO6. It is a special heat, heat rejected coating that is specifically meant for wheels, calipers, or any area that is meant for high heat areas. So enough of that, I'm gonna let him work his magic. And again, this is something that you wanna do if it's a pain to clean. Um, and what's the life, I guess, what's the shelf life of these on, on a vehicle that's maintained properly? For a vehicle that's maintained properly, usually give or take a year and a half or two. It also depends on how much the car is driven. If the car's not driven mostly, you know, you could expect, you know, a good two, three years out of it. Majority of the time, it's about a year, year and a half, you know, for a daily driven vehicle. And also too with this, I know they mentioned too, like you don't really need a wheel cleaner. Soap and water, like obviously car soap goes a long way once it's coated. Um, there's obviously some occasions where you would, would want to use a brake cleaner or a wheel cleaner. Um, again, but all those chemicals 
on top and over and over, it will degrade some sort of the hydrophobic properties, but it will be protected. Again, not everything stays 100%. You will have things that degrade. Um, and I can smell the vinegar right now. And vinegar is always used in cleaning products, you know, not only uh, cleaning your household stuff, but obviously they're using it now to get rid of those water spots. And that is a, tr a proven method too, right? Correct. White vinegar. White vinegar. Uh, ideally, you do have to dilute uh, vinegar just because it could be harmful to any sort of paint. So ideally, you do want to dilute at least a 30% 30, 30 ratio with water. Okay. So you guys are probably wondering why are you cleaning a, a new car's wheels and i've received some comments on some instagram videos um, for the second video why are you polishing a new car if you guys don't know a new car doesn't mean there's no imperfections doesn't mean that there's nothing wrong with it um, in that video you definitely saw and also my take on it there was things wrong with the paint there was some spots where it needed a two-step for example the rear bumper in this case this is a brand new wheel there's some imperfections again this car was sitting at port for about a month and when you're sitting about a month there's also those outside elements like rain and all that stuff so there's definitely water spots that were on these wheels that are being taken off from the vinegar and then ed was talking about if you were to not prep it correctly and you were to ceramic coat it after what happens ed uh, most of the time, like, you know, for example, some cars do have grease on their wheels. Most of the time when you do ceramic coat right on top of it, most of it is stuck on there. You can sit there one day cleaning your wheels and it will never come off. It will just be there stuck for life. So you do have to make sure that everything is, so, you know, for example, like there's this little spot over here of just small little water spots. You might not see it, but, you know, it's just a little spot there that would always be there if we coat right over it. Which is why this process here, the prep, is the most important. Um, when you cut corners, then you get those results where corners are cut, you can see it. Um, again, I'm very detail oriented, so I like things like this. I like being thorough. Um, I personally would like to do it myself, but when it regards to this, um, the professional product, Modesta, was it BC06? BC06. I personally can't get it because I'm not trained in it, I'm not certified. You could only be a certified technician or a person to apply it on. Again, I'm gonna let them do it. And also, I get to hold the camera and film for you guys and give you guys some, you know, the beauty shots. And hopefully long term, I'll give you guys a um, review about the product and how it's held up, maybe in a year or so. All right, so one thing I was actually kind of curious about, um, Ed's gonna be using a microfiber uh, towel and he's found this method to be a little bit more um, easy to use when applying this product. Again, a lot of different products have different uh, methods and something that you will learn as you go on. So normally you use applicator pad, but Ed, you're saying that this towel does the trick. Yeah, for this towel, personally, it's all, it's all personal preference, but for me, I do find out with BCO6, it does apply easier. It gives me a little bit more working time and as well as it applies a little bit more evenly um, with this sort of towel versus an applicator. An applicator, it just sucks it in a little too much and you know, it goes on too heavy then, right? Yeah. So this is kind of the perfect medium that we found so far. All right, so Ed's working on a big contraption. Um, this is something that I've seen on videos, but Brendan, what is this contraption that he's using and why do you guys use it? I know we're gonna be using it when we ceramic coat my car. Correct. So what we have here, this is our Krauss infrared curing lamp. Um, these lamps come in many different shapes and forms, but this is one of ours that we use. Uh, basically the idea behind infrared curing, um, kind of just like the idea of you baking a car, like once it gets painted from the paint shop, um, is it bakes the solvents out of the coating, um, effectively, you know, shortening the curing phase of it, making it form a much harder, more durable layer. Um, and 
pretty much overall just improving the you know durability and performance of the coating. All right, so I just wanted to figure out exactly why Brendan and his team decides to use Modesta. There's a lot of different ceramic coating companies out there, right? We all know about G-Technic, um, you know, a lot of the consumer grade like Adams polishes, things like that. But Modesta is a, is a word I've heard and a name I've heard before. So Brendan, um, what, what about Modesta that we're going to use on my wheels today and why you guys feel comfortable about using it? Sure. So there's plenty of different ceramic coating options on the market. Um, one brand that we've closely aligned ourselves with is Modesta. Um, we've been around with them from the beginning of when they first got brought to the United States, uh, probably like eight or nine years ago. So it's been quite a while. Um, so one of the cool things about Modesta, it's a very low volume coating uh, company. Everything is bottled in small quantities, all handmade in Japan. And the idea behind it is it's not meant to be sold to the masses and it's a true professional grade coating. Um, this is a coating that we've tested for an extensive amount of time and their claims are real world claims. So it's not a lot of companies saying, oh, I'm gonna get a lifetime coating 10 years, however long they wanna read it for. The difference is most of those coatings companies haven't even been out for that period of time. Modesta has been around for an extended period of time and we've had coatings easily hit over the five year mark um, through our real world testing. Um, plus here in South Florida, our climate is extremely brutal. South Florida just have tons of heat, UV, um, harsh water, things like that. And Modesta is just one of those brands that we've tested and works really well for us and all of our applications. So from ease of cleaning, overall durability, hydrophobic performance, it's something that works well. And the cool thing with Modesta is we have a wide variety of different coatings. Um, so it can work well on top of PPF or exterior paint, um, exterior glass, wheels. So we have a dedicated high temperature coating that can go on wheels and calipers, um, leather interior protection, um, plastic trim, uh, the one dedicated for you know matte specific paints. So we really do have quite a wide variety of different options. Um, so kind of here we have like a little bit of a short display case, just kind of showing some of the different products we have. Um, BC08 is our entry level um, Modesta coating, rated for about two years of durability on a daily driven car. Um, the next step up we have is our BC04 or BC05 or BCM. Um, BC05 and BCM are the ones we use typically more often, um, 05 kind of being the flagship option. Um, we rate it for about five years of durability and we've actually had cars hit that you know period of time, so um, it does really work. Um, the cool thing about BC05 is that it builds a super thick layer of glass on the surface um, where a lot of coatings are solvent based or extremely high solvent based so um, the difference is you need multiple layers in order to achieve some sort of thickness and durability where Modesta is rated on a single layer application so uh, one thick layer of BC05 is enough to coat the car and have you know plenty of durability to it. Um, so something that's cool is just for instance of when Modesta actually dries um, it can form a pretty thick layer. So just to show you kind of the optical clarity of it, it's a pretty clear film, super hard, super durable. But then, you know, this is kind of like what it looks like in like an ice cube form um, or just like little shards of it. You can kind of see how it forms like actual glass. I can tell you this, I thought that was plastic. I thought that, that was just a prop. It is a prop, but it's actually a prop with their product. Yep. This, is so. the, this is the real deal, this is the actual product. So it forms an actual hard glass layer where some other products, if you were to leave the cap open or pour it out, it would kind of evaporate or turn to dust or shrink down to size. Modesta will build an actual thick, high, you know, high uh, density coating. And in the next video, we're going to be seeing it applied onto the PPF. Again, something that he mentioned earlier, it's a coating that you can apply onto PPF to add that additional layer protection. So in that video, we'll deep dive a little bit more and we may get some more information about, I guess, the longevity of it with the PPF, as long as you maintain it properly proper wash steps, not using some uh, high pH level soaps. We'll talk about that later. Right. And that's it. We'll get back into the video. And anything else, Brandon? Um, no, pretty much covers the basis. You know, with any coating, you know, proper routine maintenance is ideal. So whether you're just kind of like a weekend warrior that maintains your car on a weekly basis, as long as it's somewhat maintained thoroughly, you know, these coatings will actually last. So again, it's late at the shop here. I think it's almost what, eight o'clock coming on soon. These guys work probably like six days a week. Like 12 hour a day sometimes. Something like that, quite so, a bit. Yeah. yeah. So again, they're very dedicated. They want to get their jobs done for their customers and they've been working overtime for me. So I appreciate that. <laughs>